Hi, we now want to go through some more connectivity methods focused on voice networks. So networks which are primarily used to transfer audio. So phone calls, essentially. PSTN is our first one. PSTN stands for Public Switched Telephone Network. And this is the wire network we use in the UK for telephones. So you'll see out on streets, telephone poles with wires connecting. Some might be telephone cables, some will not be, but um, that's what that is. There'll also be cables underground. In many cases, you'll have cabinets at the end of your road, which link up your whole street or your whole apartment block or things like that into the telephone network. This has been around for a long, long time, over a hundred years in various stages and different levels of advancement, of course, but telephones are not, not new. So specifically, we're thinking about landlines. A landline looks like this. This is more of an office phone, but you can have landlines in your house as well. Certainly when I was growing up, we would always have a landline in the home, not just a mobile phone. Nowadays, because mobile phones are so widespread, you may not have a landline in your home, but certainly a lot of people do still, and in the past, everyone did, pretty much. So voice calls, you're calling somebody up over the telephone network in this case. Now, in terms of limitations, PSTN is very fixed, right? To install new cables, to expand your range, you've got to do a lot of work. You would have seen construction going on to rip up a road, to lay down more cables, to put telephone lines up. It's a lot of work, okay? So it's, it's fixed. If your company wanted to expand it and move to a new building out in the middle of nowhere, you'd have to connect it up manually. That would be quite difficult. So it's not very flexible partly because it's wired. Wired networks are never that flexible. But the benefit is, been around for a long time, very, very tried and tested. And so your audio calls and the audio quality in particular is reliable and very consistent. When you're calling somebody up with a landline, the call doesn't drop out, you don't get interference. Generally speaking, it doesn't just end for no reason. It's generally really consistent because it's fixed and has been refined over 100 years or so. Now, interestingly, PSTN is actually not gonna be around for much longer in the UK. The plan is to get rid of it by 2025. We'll see if that actually happens. It's getting replaced with just VoIP, essentially. So using the internet instead of the telephone network. So basically getting rid of this system that it is still used right now. What won't be removed anytime soon are cellular networks. So a cellular network is also for voice calls, but this is wireless, not wired, primarily, and it's used for mobile phones, not landlines. So what the Americans would call cell phones work on cellular, that's why they call it cell phones. Um, I say that because there's a distinction between cell phones and satellite phones we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. So this network can be used for both data and voice. PSTN can be used for data too, if you are using ASDL, but primarily for voice in both cases. Um, for data, right, you've got 4G, 5G nowadays is also on the same network. This network works for having radio towers which broadcast to the surrounding area. So each tower has got an area it's designed to broadcast to, that is what's called its cell. So the country is divided into cells, each cell has got a tower broadcasting. Now you might have never seen one of these, but out in the countryside there are massive, massive towers broadcasting. But even in cities there'll be what we call relay nodes, which broadcast at a smaller level to keep things consistent. So these are really flexible. You know, wireless networks generally are flexible because you can move around and add new devices quite easily. No matter where you are, if you are within that cell, you can usually receive data. I say usually because there can be what we call black spots. A black spot is where the signal is either really poor or doesn't exist at all. Now, if you are out in the middle of nowhere, you might be a long way away, even in the UK, from a cell tower, and so you might not have any signal. Equally, being in a city, being in your house, you will have found, I'm sure, areas where the phone can't pick up a signal. You could end up with 2G or 3G instead of 4G or 5G. It's not nearly as good. Right, concrete can block the signals, 
if you go in a tunnel, if you go in a new building, often at a block for cellular radio waves. So they're not perfect. PSTN is more consistent in that regard. But if you are in the middle of nowhere, say, you're not going to be able to suddenly connect up to the wired telephone network. So instead, you might use a satellite. So a satellite is where we've got this object floating in space. And again, it will transmit and receive radio waves, obviously to Earth and back, um, allowing us to communicate just upwards and not across like a cell tower does, I suppose. Now, a satellite phone is something possibly you wouldn't have come across ever. I've never used a satellite phone. I've seen them used in films and TV shows, um, but they're used for audio calling, not nearly as fancy as a modern smartphone because they're very specialized. So I've got an antenna, which often extends. You might be able to plug it into a bigger one. And the idea is it'll be able to communicate with a satellite and you can call people via the satellite. So you call somebody up, it, it goes up to space and is bounced back down and is sent to the person. So you can call somebody, but it goes up to space and down again to make that connection. Whereas cellular, you communicate, you call, it goes to the nearest cell tower and gets sent on like that. So it's a lot much longer distance process. The benefit is they can be used almost everywhere in the world even because you've got satellites in space all the time. They're available from almost all points on Earth and so you can make a connection even if you are in the middle of nowhere it should be okay. The issue is because it's got to go a much further distance and it's got a few more steps than going to a cell tower not a million miles away there'll be lag and so the phone calls could be a bit delayed also the quality is often not as good and not as consistent you've got to be outside to use it if you are inside you can send and receive the radio waves so it's not perfect there are black spots they do reduce the need to have a cell tower around